Je pense qu'il faut faire un bêtisier là. <rire> Hello and welcome to Diana Dorville. Today, I'm very happy to meet Radiant Zita Dodville in Sunny Saint Germain des Prés in Paris. Model turned geek and baptized real Parisian it girl by Tatler magazine. Top it up with a disarming smile and a sensitivity to all things good for the planet. Let us introduce you to Zita. Bonne écoute. Can you briefly walk us through your story? Um, <laughs> hi, uh, my name is Zita. So I was born and raised in Paris. I'm also half Belgian, uh, which is a bit of my uh, more like uh, original side. Um, I studied in London. I studied computer science and business at UCL. And now I'm working for Google uh, in marketing and sales. I'm usually based in Dublin, but since the situation happened, I'm now based in Paris. So as a fashion industry insider, um, what is your vision on the future of the cultural uh, luxury and fashion industries? Um, so I think that uh, the situation has really taught us to approach fashion and art in a different way. For example, having the ability to try your clothes at home with VR is just like life changing. So what is your relationship to sustainability? Does it influence your choices, whether you purchase a luxury fashion item, home cleaning products, uh, food, cosmetics? <laughs> um, so concerning my food choices, I'm vegetarian since five years, so it influences my choices a lot. I try, and I'm saying I try to be vegan when I can, but it's really hard, but I'm working on it. Um, otherwise, concerning fashion, I love to buy uh, vintage clothes, like secondhand uh, designers, or to check uh, how the pieces were made, if it's like a local brand, uh, or like a French brand, or Belgian brand, or Monégasque brand. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> this really impacts how I choose, and concerning home products, I don't buy those so often, but The little tips that I can give you is like try to buy a bamboo brushes, try to buy a cotton re uh, reusable pads to make a remover and uh, don't use plastic bags. Whatever you can, don't use them, bring your own bag. First three words that come to your mind when you think of Diana Dorville. <laughs> so I would say chic, trendy and cosmopolite. Très bonne réponse. <laughs> Ça me va très bien. <laughs> so, what did you dream of when you were a little girl and what would you tell her today? Um, so, my dream job when I was a kid was to be, first of all, a baker so I could eat sweets uh, as much as I wanted and uh, to be uh, a dog hairdresser as well. <laughs> and my mom was like, Zita, are you sure? And I was like, I was completely sure. Guess it didn't went according to plan. <laughs> Now I'm a model and I work for Google, but I always wanted to be happy and I guess this is where I am today and this is so important for me. What would be your ideal day? Um, I guess my ideal day would be uh, waking up in Italy with my boyfriend, having like a super good breakfast with waffles, avocado toast, Then going for a walk, I love visiting by walking. Like for me, walking is like the main slash only sport I do, <laughs> uh, but I walk everywhere. So walking, I don't know, in Rome or in Capri. Then having a little lunch um, on the seaside and afterward it would be uh, diving. So I just had my diving license. Uh, so I would love to dive uh, for the afternoon, evening, a uh, little uh, dinner party with all my friends um, and then uh, having a few drinks and a little dance. Just a few drinks. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, you host a dinner, who do you invite, what do you cook and what do you wear? <laughs> so, I guess my three um, invites would go to uh, Marie Curie, uh, Lady Diana and Elon Musk. Okay. Really strange trio. I really wonder how it would go, but it seems fine. Um, I would cook the only meal that I can cook, which is pasta and limone. <laughs> it's the only meal I can cook, but I swear it's good. Um, then, uh, what? C'était quoi la question? What do you wear? What would I wear? 
I think this would be something I would wear to see them. Uh, but there's the black top that comes with it. <laughs> okay, so book, music, uh, and film de prédilection. Uh, very good question. Uh, movie would be um, La Piel qui habito de Almodovar, uh, really a crazy story. Um, book would be L'Alchimiste by Polo Coelho. Uh, it's like just beauty for the brain, it makes you travel in your mind, it's crazy. And uh, music, everything that is purple disco machine, especially on my mind, which is just <laughs> Any safe haven or dream destination you want to share with us? Um, safe havens, I would say uh, Biarritz. Uh, in La Côte Basque. I go there since I was a, a baby girl. And then uh, maybe the countryside in Belgium at my grandparents. Uh, it's just like I, I went there every summer when I was a kid. Then a dream destination would be um, anywhere where I can dive and see sharks. Thank you, Zita. It was a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening and on to the next episode. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Rendez-vous on the Diana Dorville website to find all our treasures. À bientôt!